Hello everyone. Thank you for joining today's session. My name is Vinay. Today we will be discussing about Curidar EDR Amplify Threat Hunting by integrating with SIEM. In this session, we would learn about powerful integration of two robust security products, IBM Curidar EDR and IBM Curidar SIEM. We will see how combining an EDR solution with an SIEM threat hunting increases enterprise readiness and further blusters its security posture. Let me introduce our speakers for today. Vikram is an IBM software engineer. Prabhu currently works as a Curidar EDR support engineer. I will now hand over to Prabhu to continue with today's topic. Over to you, Prabhu. So coming to the agenda, so today we'll be discussing about the growing importance of EDR in modern day threat landscape. We'll briefly introduce you to the two best in class security solutions by IBM, that is Curidar EDR and Curidar SIEM. Then we'll throw some light on the importance of integration between these two products and provide you a demo of few integration use cases. So in today's rapidly evolving cyber threat landscape, traditional security measures are no longer sufficient to protect against sophisticated attacks. Organizations these days face a myriad of security challenges, including malware, ransomware, advanced persistent threats, and zero-day exploits. As these threats become more and more advanced, the need for a robust, proactive, and adaptive security solution has become paramount. So the rise of remote work culture post-pandemic has led to a significant increase in the number of endpoints accessing corporate networks from various locations, which in turn has made endpoints more vulnerable to various threats. If we notice the pattern of recent major attacks, endpoints are the entry point of malicious actors. This has forced us to focus on endpoint security more than ever before. But are the existing traditional security solutions like antivirus are sufficient to protect the endpoints? Let us explore that. So traditional antivirus solutions that rely primarily on signature and heuristic based detection can only detect the threats if the signatures are already present in the database or let's say if it's a known APT. Then only they can proceed further and block and quarantine those files. But attacker these days are targeting the unknown. They are leaving off the land hiding behind genuine processes or legitimate files. To give you an example, let's say you are an HR in any organization, you'll be dealing with hundreds of CVs on a daily basis. So what if an attacker would hide malicious executables inside your CV? So that when you click on it, it would run a malicious software. What if the software it's running is a zero day exploit? It's beyond the scope of a traditional antivirus to be able to catch such a threat. All of you must be knowing about ransomware. By the time traditional antivirus update their signatures, there is always a new ransomware out in the wild by the ever evolving attackers. So basically these ransomware enters via endpoints under the disguise of legitimate processes and move laterally in organizations. And then they try to encrypt the important data of the users. So these diversing challenges make it very challenging to secure all endpoints using traditional methods. This is where endpoint detection and response that is EDR comes into play, which offers a significant advantage in modern threat management. So EDR solution focuses on monitoring and analyzing activities on the endpoint in real time to detect and respond to security threats. Unlike traditional antivirus solutions that rely primarily on signature and heuristic based detections, EDR leverages advanced techniques like behavioral analysis, machine learning, and threat intelligence to identify and mitigate threats. As it looks out for the behaviors rather than the known signatures, whether it's a known threat actor or not, it notices anything suspicious on your endpoint any genuine process that would be deviating from its baseline, it can detect the threat then and there. Remember the example of a malicious process running from a usual Excel file I have provided before. 
the EDR would be seamlessly able to detect this cross process operations instantly. It would think that, okay, something is fishy here. There should be no executable spawning from a regular Excel or Word file. And then in there, it would alert the analyst for further assessment, whether it is a genuine file, which should spawn from the Excel or it's a malicious one. Now, whether it's a known exploit or a zero day one, EDR has the capability to detect and respond to it. Besides that, any best in class EDR has threat hunting capabilities. If you receive an alert and you want to know if this malicious actor is present on the other endpoints in the organization, if it has uh, made lateral movement through the organization, you'll be able to do that through threat hunting. Let us say you are using a traditional antivirus and you have already been under an attack. EDR will also be able to post breach investigation. EDR will help you to map the processes being executed in the endpoints and provide a detailed visibility into any suspicious activity. With EDR, you don't have to worry about const constantly updating the signature databases as well. So it can be very well be future proof as it rather detects the behavior than the signature of the executable. While EDR provides comprehensive visibility and protection across all endpoints, integrating it with several other security solutions such as SIEM, which is security information and event management is of a great importance as it offers a complete view of the security posture, making it easier to detect threats that span multiple environments. With the overwhelming increase in data due to digital transformation, networks these days have become bigger and more complex. So this growing network needs the use of multiple tools and a traditional seam would only focus on log ingestion. So it might be possible that use logs from the event data from various tools without any context might become a burden on the security analyst. So while if we integrate EDR with SIEM, EDR already has this event of from the endpoint level analyzed in form of alerts. So SIEM might be aggregating and analyzes security events across the entire network. It can correlate events from EDR with other data sources like firewalls, intrusion detection systems, and application logs. So this correlation would help us to identify complex attack patterns that might be missed if both of these security solutions operated in isolation. So EDR detects threats in real time while SIEM provides a broader context by correlating these detections with network-wide data. This combination will accelerate the identification and response to security incidents. While EDR offers in-depth visibility into endpoint activities, including process execution, file changes, and network connections, SIEM adds value by providing a timeline of correlated events across the network. This integration can help in tracing the origin of an attack and understanding its impact on the entire network. This detailed analysis is sometimes crucial in improving our defenses and preventing future incidents. Moreover, integrating these two important security solutions allows security teams to leverage the strength of both the systems without duplicating the efforts. So this Integration streamlines workflows and improves efficiency of security operations. So in IBM, we have Curada EDR, which was formerly known as Reacta, as an endpoint threat detection and response solution. It uses artificial intelligence-driven behavioral analysis to detect and respond to advanced threats protecting the organization from any kind of security breaches. Curada EDR utilizes its proprietary NanoOS technology to remain invisible to attackers while providing visibility into the system at the hypervisor level. Remember, it is the first and only hyper hypervisor-based 
approach to a EDR solution where it monitors the system outside the OS from ring minus one level. It is designed this way to keep it invisible from any kind of malware. Suppose you are a black hat guy, the first thing you would want to threat actor to enter the system is to shut down any kind of endpoint protections. So once it's able to disable the protection of the device, it's an easy game for the threat actor then. But because of the nano OS, it cannot achieve to shut down the reactor services. Because of its presence at hypervisor level, it also has additional capability to offer memory inspection so that it can detect high level malicious behaviors such as key logging, dynamic impersonations, credential harvesting, and kernel exploits. So QRadar EDR also has AI-driven advanced threat hunting capabilities. This supports 120 plus parameters and 70 plus behaviors to detect and threat in your endpoint, through which you can do the data mining to detect lateral movement of any kind of advanced threats across your organization. You can also easily create custom detection strategies or destras for threat hunting in your environment with which you can easily hunt within the entire infrastructure to find the needle in the haystack and remotely kill it in real time. Not only this, QRADA EDR maps these alerts to MITRE ATT&CK framework to get a clear picture of what is happening in your environment. So QRADA EDR can not only detect threats, but it can respond to them automatically via various automated actions. It provides a robust solution for quick and automated response where it can isolate and de-isolate the endpoints and interact with endpoints in real time leveraging its live response feature. By live response, EDR provides you a console to directly interact with the endpoint in real time. Using this, you can see the processes, services running in the endpoint. You can terminate or suspend the process you want. You can download or delete the files, or you can also see the active connections on your endpoints. It is a very important feature while we are on a live breach scenario so that we can provide live response and directly kill the suspicious process. We have this feature of isolation as well. So let us think about a scenario where the breach has already happened and the endpoint is already been affected. The first thing you'd want is to stop the lateral movement of malicious file then and there and contain the threat actor within that particular endpoint. Previously, what you would do is go to the endpoint physically and disconnect it from the network. But via live response, we have this option to disconnect the endpoint from the entire network from the EDR dashboard itself. Even if the endpoint is thousands of miles away in some other continent, via live response, we'll be able to disconnect the endpoint from the EDR dashboard itself. While the endpoint is disconnected, we'll be able to, uh, the, there will be still intact connection that would to the EDR server. So still an analyst would be able to perform any kind of post bridge investigation through live response or through various other features of EDR dashboard. And the best part, of these functionalities that these are available also through APIs so that various security solutions can easily integrate and utilize these functionalities for automated actions on their features. Coming to the architecture of EDR, it has a three level architecture. It has a AI powered agent which optimizes storage and bandwidth by logging only critical information.
but when a threat is detected the agent cleverly switch into deep monitoring mode to collect more and more data to enrich the alert so in normal scenario it has a very light footprint on the endpoint but when necessary the agent can collect the important data then this agent communicates with the hive brain which is the centralized three node server to store all the data collected by agents it is the most important part where all the business logics policies and rules are stored logging and correlation takes place after the brain provides information to hive dashboard which is the ui all the data provided and behavioral analysis and everything can be visible in the single console which in turn helps us in a great way to create a optimization remediation workflow so besides that curada edr is also available in multiple deployment option for the customers it is available as a saas platform where ibm takes care of your entire deployment it is also available as an on prem where you have a single three node server to be managed by the customer so i think that is all about curada edr now i would invite my colleague vikram to talk about the second solution i been provides which is curada seam and also show you a live demo of the integration we are talking about over to you vikram thank you prabhu so prabhu talked about curada edr and curada sim in brief in the beginning the reason why we are discussing the integration today is we all know the security posture needs different tools and our customers deploy multiple solutions from multiple security vendors and integrating them for creating a robust security posture is at most important now we have dedicated solutions for dedicated problems edr has it a strong withhold or strong possibilities on endpoint management and controlling tracking it sim sits on network level it's a night rider which sits at network layer and analyzes all the logs and flows that are flowing in your network so sim is that person who sits and watches everything happening over wire in your network so ibm curator sim has been a market leader for an sim solution for over a decade now long before i joined ibm so comprehensive threat detection capabilities providing holistic visibility and its powerful correlation engine we have n number of rules which are readily available which are customizable which allows customers to create multiple use cases it has an improved and automated response we have responses in form of scripts that can be executed for particular rules now think of rules as an use cases for customers there can be a rule for detecting ransomware attack there can be a rule for detecting and data exfiltration attack so these rules are available in form of predefined sets whenever you install qradar console and then they are available for customizations we have other sets of rules coming in such as anomalies uh detections then we have set of rules for uba which makes it important and imperative for any internal threats that we want to mitigate and avoid this integration of qradar and edr is a unique combination of endpoint capabilities of edr and the overall network visibility of siem and that's why we will be seeing the demo today of how exactly this works and why it is important now the session or the demo that we are going to see today is exact implementation of this scenario that you see on this whiteboard so here we have ibm qradar which has its log injections in the form of log sources it can be firewalls it can be proxy logs it can be any log sources that are connected to ibm qradar siem solution similarly we have multiple endpoints which 
communicate to hive brain or the EDR brain. So these two are distinct solutions in themselves. SIEM has a different job to perform. EDR is a different solution and caters to different requirements. But when they come together, we find or we create a unified security solution which will give us much more capabilities for extended detection and responses. So think of a scenario. Suppose an organization is spread across multiple geos. So let us take an example that we are in APAC, we are in US zone and, and another is in EMEA. So these three endpoints are these endpoints are connected to hive servers from different regions. There are three different hive servers sitting at different regions. One hive server, when I say hive, it is EDR hive server sitting at separate regions. And then there are separate teams which will be monitoring the activities that are happening on EDR or the endpoints registered to that EDR hive brain. So every team is unique and doesn't have visibility to what are the things or attacks that are going on at a different region. For example, Americas, there's some attack detected on endpoint such as data exfiltration. So that was contained, that was analyzed, that was fixed by the team sitting in Americas. So that is not visible for the other two regions, that is APAC and EMEA. But if we connect that three reactor hive servers, three EDR hive servers to a single QRADAR SIEM deployment, the agents or the events that trigger the alerts on hive server are sent to the QRADAR SIEM server. So the SIM server has the visibility to all the three regions because all three regions are connected to SIEM in form of log sources. So this part on the right side becomes a log source for QRADAR SIEM. So a SOC analyst or a QRADAR SIEM dashboard admin will have the visibility of anything remotely happening on any of the geos and he then can make a informed decision, a preactive decision or a preemptive decision to take all the mitigation steps necessary. And that's why this integrations become important. Having Reactor Hive dashboard itself has the capabilities to contain and generate alerts, but having a network view or a bird eye view of what is happening on a particular geo and accordingly taking decisions to protect other, other geos or to protect other sites of an enterprise is possible only through this integration. Thank you.